another car crash TV interview for the SMP's dear leader, Nicola Sturgeon, as she gets confused and falls apart over the definition of a woman. Okay, Nicola, Nicola, Nicola Sturgeon, it's time to talk about the SMP leader again. But it's funny and it's important because she's uh, slightly struggling with her the agenda bill that's being blocked by Westminster. She's having a bit of a meltdown over that. She's losing support in the opinion polls. Uh, the, in the second independent referendum is blocked and she's, lo she's losing taxpayers' money left, right and centre losing it and now she was interviewed <laughs> by the mainstream media i'm just going to show you you might have seen it uh, last night but this is just hilarious let's go to this quick clip that we have she was simply asked to do a bit of a basic definition of what a woman is it doesn't end well my question is are all trans but women women you haven't is, answered that question well that's not the point that we're dealing with That's here. The question I'm trans women are, are women, but in the prison context, there is no automatic right for a trans woman. So there are contexts where a trans woman is not a woman. Oh. No, there is, <laughs> there is circumstances in which a trans woman <laughs> uh, will be housed wow. in the male prison estate. Is there any the context in which a woman born as a woman will be housed in the male estate? Look, we're talking here about trans women. And I'm now asking <laughs> women born as women. Uh, I don't think there are circumstances there, uh, but... So it's different for trans women? Well, yes, and I, I'm not... So they're not equal? That is not... The, there is a risk assessment process done for trans women that takes account mm. of the nature of the crime. It clearly, it, significant concern arises out of sexual crime and mm -hmm. whether it's appropriate for them to be in a female prison okay. or a male prison. Okay, so to clarify... <laughs> that they're all women, but. So if people like Nicola Surgeon and all the other lefties over the last couple of years just focused on common sense, none of this would have happened. None of this divisive debate would have happened. None of these harmful incidents would have happened. All you had to do was just go with common sense and you can still be compassionate. No one's telling you not to be compassionate. No one's telling you to start insulting people or attacking individuals. Everyone's free to do whatever they want as long as they don't harm any other individual or society. It's common sense. But apparently, that's not common these days because of the political establishment and all the academics and media and idiots who are essentially brainwashing our children. Let me know what you guys think and make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.